Yo, what's going on guys? Did you put revive me today? I'm gonna show you how to change the resolution to your dolphin emulator on Xbox Series S and X. Alright, so for this you do need Durango FTP and then an FTP client for your computer. Uh for this one I'm gonna use FileZilla. It's free. I'll have the link in the description if you don't have it. It's very easy to use. And then uh, let's get right into it. So this we're gonna open up Durango FTP. And if you never use this app, if you never use this app, the numbers you need to remember is on the addresses of this device, the second to last row is the numbers you need to plug in to the FTP client. So we're going to remember those numbers, 10, 0, 0, 39. Then we're going to start, and then we're going to open up FileZilla on the computer. Now, once we open this up, we're going to plug in those numbers to the host, 10.0.0.39. The username you can leave it blank for the password you can leave it blank for port mine is 21 so 21 quick connect it's gonna say this server does not support ftp over tls it's all good just click ok now from here at the bottom or actually not at the top where it says remote site we're gonna click on local folder i'm gonna to go to our dolphin which mine is this one just click on it if you're having trouble finding it just uh, click on the different folders, go to the local state, and then search for the ones that have these files, like config, dump, game settings, GBA, GameCube, loads. This one is the Dolphin emulator. So if you see these, then you know you got the right one. Now we're gonna go to config. Now for this, what you wanna do is drag the GFX onto your desktop. Boom, it's all the way right here. This right here is the most important thing to change in the resolution. Now this right here is everything that sets up your Dolphin emulator, resolution, all the settings. So now what you want to do is at the bottom where it says internal resolution, you just want to change this to 2, 2 would be times 2, 3 would be times 3, and so on. Alright, so once you're finished, go up top to file, go to save. Now this GFX that's inside, we're going to delete it. So boom, we deleted it. We're gonna go back to the desktop, grab our new GFX file, click on it, drag it to FileZilla, and then drag it right in. Right there it says transfers finished. Boom, that's it. It's as simple as that to change the internal resolution for Dolphin on the Xbox Series S and X. If this helped you, please hit that like and follow for more, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.